hey guys good morning so today I'm gonna show you how I study with my two-year-old daughter okay she is two she's gonna be three in two more weeks and I started studying with her when she was about two and a half or maybe a little earlier I start out early with my kids I just want to keep them ahead so they never ever ever struggle so I'll show you what I do with my two-year-old daughter <laughs> And um, you know, I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. Um, Dad. Okay, how many blocks are there? Um, one, two, three. Are there five? No. Do we put them in the box? No. Very smart. We leave them right there. Two. Now let's count the balls. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Are there five balls? Yes. Do we put them in the box? Yes. Excellent. Let's throw those balls in the box. Uh -huh. Wow, you did it very good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Kira is a smart. Yeah. Awesome. I just did the apple. I just did the orange. I just did the lemon. Very good. Are oh, you gonna circle them? Okay, mm -hmm. nice circles. Good. You're doing extra work. All right. I did, mommy. You're smart. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mommy did. More than enough. Look at the toys and circle the child in each pair who has more toys. <gasps> Ooh. One, who has two. more? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do this one first. This is William and this is Hannah. Kara. Now, who has more balls? Does Kara have more balls or does William have more balls? Um, I have more balls. You have more balls. High five. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Kira has how many balls? Let's count. One, One two, two three. three. And William only has? One. William only has one. one. So Kira has more? Balls. Excellent. C. A. 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 R. A. And what does that spell? Kara. Kara. Let's say it again. Kara. C. A. R. A. Spells. Kara. One more time. C. A. 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 Spells. Kara. Yay. So guys, today Kara is working on this book, handwriting practice, age three plus. Kara is gonna be three next week. I got to be two. Yeah, you're two right now, baby. You're gonna be three next week, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So she just finishing practicing. This book um, starts out with lines and then it moves on to curves. Okay, we did this. We haven't done this part. Okay. Uh huh. So you want me to help you with the first one? Yeah, me. Okay, you go from the green to this way. Okay. You go straight and then go straight that way. You have to go straight. Straight lines. There you go up. Here. To the audience, I have to complete this. Excellent. Okay. Weesh. And now she's going down the side. Side. To go down the slide, Kara. Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. Kara likes to go down the slide. Wow, we have more fun pages here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going to red. Going to red. Excellent. Look a nice straight line, baby. Going to red. Keep it in the tree. So can you keep it in the tree? Like that. Going to red. 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 There you go. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, you are awesome. Mm -hmm. You are awesome, line drawer. Wow, good job. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty smooth. What color is this? Green, yellow, orange, red, red, orange, blue. Right here at the end, okay? Nice and tight. Hold pencil nice and tight. Start from here, top to bottom. Trace it. That's the number one. Excellent. Number one is just the line. Keep going. 
You got it. <laughs> Guys, can you please do your work? Thank you very much. Good job, babe. Number one is quite easy, right? It's just a line. Look at that. That one was perfect. Ooh, make it nice and straight. Good job. Up right here. Good job. Excellent. Curve. Good. And a straight line. Excellent. I did it right, Mommy. You're doing it awesome. No, I'm doing great. <laughs> okay, you're doing great. Okay, not awesome, but great. All right. Curve it. And straight. Very good. I've been using all of these books with her since she was two and a half, somewhere in there. Um, the first thing I actually taught her before I started any of these books is drawing circles. Okay, drawing circles. That was the first thing. As soon as she was able to draw circles, we started with these books. Now, um, let me show you this one. This one is pre handwriting, ages three plus. And she's starting doing this when she was two. This is just lines, lines. So these just pre handwriting, it starts with simple lines, the eyes, and then it just goes from there. Okay, I really love this book, guys. I love it. All right, and then we have this alphabet book. This one she started a while ago. We're almost actually finished with it. Um, we try and do it every day, or sometimes we skip so we don't do numbers. But this one has all the alphabets in it. So what I do is, if we, for example, we start on this page, I go all the way back and I open it page by page, and then she reads all the alphabets. Okay. So we get to where she's supposed to be. I like this book, Pre-K. This one is Numbers Games 1 to 70, age 3, 4, 5. She started this a while ago. It's just tracing from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, and then you, you keep going. This is another fun book, guys. Numbers Games. This one is I Can Paste Toddler. She actually does this with her baby brother. And it's just, you cut off a page and then you put in the whatever on here. So these are clouds over a rainbow. <laughs> and then you cut off the fish and you put it in there. This is just cut and paste, okay? Another cool book, Toddler. All right, this one is Page Per Day Numbers. I like, this is another book I like, Pre-K. She's been doing this one as well for a while. It started out with number one, and then she goes down, and then she counts which one shows one. She, you circle. That's why I taught her how to circle, guys. Because she could, like, you know, when I say which one, circle it, she is able to draw a circle. So it's very important they know how to draw a circle before they start all this. And I like this book. She, she can, right now, she can count up to 20. Sometimes she counts up to 15, sometimes 20. My son says 20, so I'll go with 20. She counts to 20, and she makes a little mistake here and there, but very, very little. Another alphabet book, preschool workbook. Just redoing everything she already knows. Nice book, love it. And then we have these flashcards that we use, three-letter words. I love this one, and I like this one. Let me show you. These three-letter word flashcards, three-letter words. I love it because even if she cannot read it, it has a little puzzle and it has the word. So she makes the, she solves the puzzle and then we read the word. And then the back also has the word. I really love this one. She likes it. This one I give it to her when I'm doing something else and I'm like, wait, you know, while I'm trying to get ready to give her something, I give this to her to pass time. I really like this. And this is this, okay. And then we have this one, first words. And this one, I like it because it has the word here, ball. And this is more memory, I think. I don't know. I think it's more memory. <laughs> because right now she's not able to pronounce the words. Well, when she sees ball here, I give her like three cards. She sees ball, banana, because 
for example, I give her these three cards. She sees there's a ball here. She's able to remember that. Banana and ants. So if I give her the cards and I turn it this way, she can tell me which is banana, which is ball, which is ant. So it's really cool. We haven't used it a lot, but I like it. Okay. Now this book, I bought this book <laughs> 11 years ago. Was it 11? About 10 and a half, a, 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 10 and a half, 11 years ago. I bought this book right after I had my first daughter. She used it. She used it to learn how to read. And I use it with my son who is eight to learn how to read. And I'm going to use it for Kara and William. With Kara, I have started, but I'm not rushing it. Oh, I actually write it out. So, yeah, Alana started started with Alana at three years, ten months. So Alana was almost four when she started this book, guys. Alana was almost four, three years, ten months. I started with James at three years, three months. So I started a little earlier with James. So I haven't written Kara's. Like I said, I've used it, I think, once or twice with her. But I intend to start this with her. And like almost right away I just want to do a couple more of these be with her before I start this but you can see I started with James three years three months and James is the one that had speech problems but I still started early with him okay so I really like this book let me show you it's not a kid friendly book but it's more for a parent <laughs> you just stay there you have to be there with them you know and likewise everything else okay it tells them how to pronounce this how to pronounce this and we just go one by one. And my daughter literally learned with this book, guys. Okay. I really like this book. It helped me at least. So, and both my kids, even my son who had speech problems, by the time they went to pre-K, not kindergarten, pre-K at four, they were both reading. Okay. They were both reading by pre-K. And I also have these, you know, these are just extras so they can practice what they learn in this because this is not enough guys trust me so they practice in here you know just practicing what they've done and then I have this doodle pad which I just give her extra see what they've done here <laughs> I just give her extra things to do here you know things that are not in the book just a little bit more you know personalized work and here, Kira recognizes her name. I have her circle her name every time so that way she can recognize her name. So every time I just every time I do schoolwork with her, guys, I give this to her so she can recognize her name. Okay. She's not writing it yet, but she can recognize her name. Um, let me see what else. This is another flash um card. And I have one with numbers. I don't know where it is right now. So we have numbers as well. So, anyways, guys, let me do this. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Never too early to start with a little kid. And with all my kids, by the time they get to kindergarten, they do so well. Like they're like on top when they get to kindergarten. And they never struggle because we've covered pretty much everything and more that they will do by kindergarten. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions. And I will be more than glad to answer them. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. So, guys, this is what I do with my two-year-old daughter. Um, first, the first thing we actually started with was drawing circles, um, lines and circles. We were drawing lines and circles, lines and circles. That's what I do with my son now. My son is one year old and about three or four months. I'm not sure. <laughs> one year old in three or four months and we just draw line circles okay and um right now he's not there yet he's just scribbling all over but in about a month i expect him to know how to draw lines and circles so that's where i start so that way when we start doing letters and i'm like circle the letter a he's doing it so if you want to start with your two-year-old or you know any age you're starting out teach him to draw lines and circles very important um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short video guys. Let me know if you have any comments. If you have any suggestions what how you did with your child or how you started with your little child, you can share it down there. If you want to see more videos like this of how I teach my 
kids or you know how we do schoolwork and how I teach them especially the little ones let me know this is how I started with my 10 year old and I tell you she's like smart she's smarter than me right now I kid you not she is smarter than me so if you want to see more videos like this let me know Peace.